In this video, we will be covering what venom is and which drugs were discovered using venom. Firstly, let's understand what venoms are. Animal venoms are used as defense mechanisms and digest prey. In fact, venoms are complex mixtures of enzymatic and non-enzymatic components with specific functions. Peptide toxins isolated from animal venoms target mainly ion channels, membrane receptors and components of the hemostatic system with high selectivity and affinity. Thus, animal venoms have always been associated with danger and being life-threatening. However, some medicines that we have today are actually created using these venoms. In fact, snake venoms have been used as medical tools for thousands of years, especially in traditional Chinese medicine. In our slides, we have mentioned capsaicin being made through the use of snake venom. Particularly, radicanin potentiating peptides (BPPs) molecules discovered by Sergio Ferreira, who found them in the venom of Bothrops jararaca in the 1960s. These molecules lead to inhibition of ACE enzymes in vivo, and capsaicin was discovered using this molecule. Thus, in this video, we will show you more about venoms as drugs. Next. We will look at why venom is useful in creating drugs. Venoms are products containing not just singular toxins, but complex chemical mixtures of pharmacologically active components such as proteins, peptides, enzymes, and some non-protein compounds such as carbohydrates, lipids, and metal ions. Thus they are highly sophisticated. This means that the active compounds are usually non-addictive and have fewer side effects. They can provide inspiration for new mechanisms of action which can be applied in different situations to further improve our techniques of drug development. Moving on, we can look at how venom is incorporated in the making of drugs. In the first way, the venom polypeptides can be used directly as therapeutic drugs or as lead compounds. The downside of this way is that the animals can only produce a small amount of venom every few hours, making the product very expensive. In the second way, a new drug is synthesized by altering a compound from the venom to create the final drug. By chemically engineering the compounds, we can make molecules that interact well with certain diseases. Finally, we will explore some drugs which were made from venom. A few examples of drugs made from venom are Eptifabetide and Erofaban. Isolated from viperid snake venoms, these two are antiplatelet drugs which inhibit the formation of blood clots. Bieta is a type 2 diabetes medication used to help control blood sugar levels by increasing the efficiency of the pancreas' ability to produce insulin. Its key ingredient is from the saliva of the Gila monster, Heloderma suspectum. Prialt, used to treat severe chronic pain by blocking pain signals from traveling from the peripheral nerves to the brain. It was initially isolated from the venom of magician cone snails, Conus magnus. 